Sharice, and today I'm gonna show you how to make my vegan crispy cauliflower tacos. I'm so excited about it. I'll show you the original recipe if you don't wanna use beer, but I'm gonna actually infuse mine today. You guys, Duclaw never lets me down. So this is a Goza ale that is brewed with cantaloupe and black lava sea salt, and I cannot even describe to you how amazing this flavor is. So we're gonna infuse this. We're gonna make um, a cantaloupe salsa. We're gonna put this in our cauliflower and we're gonna make a guacamole also a quick easy guacamole using this um, so I want to talk about avocados real quick y'all okay so first of all hold on can we get like you see my shirt how hilarious I just got this I'm real excited about it because plants have protein bitch peas <laughs> y'all okay avocados though let's talk avocados real quick you guys the healthy fat it's awesome it has like 20 vitamins and, and minerals in it all these great nutrients that avocados have it helps fight depression it helps fight cancer it helps with you know a healthy heart it has oh you guys it also has antimicrobial activity specifically to help fight against E. coli, which I thought was super important because if you guys don't know what's going on right now with a motherfucking romaine lettuce, shit's off the shelves, you can't get it. Um, huge issue going on across the country as far as E. coli in the romaine. So I thought avocados would be perfect for that since it helps fight that E. coli. So let's get started. The first thing we did was cut our cauliflower into bite-sized pieces. If you guys wanna know how to do that, go ahead over to my Bang Bang Cauliflower Wing recipe, and I actually go into that and show you how to do that. So in this bowl, I have half a cup of all-purpose flour, and then I'm going to add a taco seasoning like you would to your normal like ground beef or something like that. And we're just gonna mix this together. Then we have our glorious Goza Oz Goza Ale with cantaloupe and black lava sea salt. So this is a half a cup of that. We're gonna pour that in there. Now again, I told you I would tell you my regular way of making this. If you were making this without beer, I just use cashew milk and I mix that in with this as my batter. But again, this gives such another level of flavor. I can't, like I can't even tell you. It's like sour, but it's this like the cantaloupe though. Like it's not just like orange or lemon or something like that. The cantaloupe, like it's so developed, like I'm obsessed. Okay, so now we're gonna pour this delicious batter all over our cauliflower, you guys. And then we're just gonna stir this up again. This, just like with our Bang Bang cauliflower, we're just gonna make sure it's all coated together. Then we're gonna add our panko breadcrumbs, just like we do with our wings. And we're gonna lightly, whoa, I think I put too many. We're gonna, <laughs> We're gonna lightly toss these. You don't want to stir these, stir these, or else you're gonna, all the panko is gonna start falling off. So this is just like a light toss and make sure that everything is coated. I have a recipe actually on my midnightmunchiesandmore.com page that you can look up that I used like um, a ground cauliflower, like a riced cauliflower in place of the ground meat. But I really like making my cauliflower tacos this way because that extra crunch from the panko really gives it a nice texture flow in your taco. We have a very well oiled cookie sheet here. I put um, half of that, if you guys saw, I actually, I made my vegan crab cake recipe yesterday and I used, um, the Goza Ale instead of my lime juice. So if you want that recipe, actually go check out my vegan crab cake recipe. So I had half of an onion left over and I went ahead and put chopped that up and put that on the bottom uh, before my cauliflower. That kind of gives it another level of flavor. And then you have extra onions to put in your taco because who doesn't love onions? Oh girl. You can 100% make your own salsa, but I went the lazy route. I wanted to show you guys how you can take something simple as a store-bought salsa and elevate it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of this sausage, try and keep some of the juice out. We don't want all of the juice. We just want some of this lovely salsa, girl. Okay, and then what I did was to infuse our flavor is I cut up some cantaloupe into small pieces and we're gonna add that in there, okay? Mix that up a little bit. I think we could add a little bit more. Oh, girl, this is gonna be so good. You know, like a pineapple salsa or mango salsa, but cantaloupe. 
And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little touch of our Goza Ale as well. Just a little bit extra. And since we added more of that, we're gonna add a little bit more salt to it. And we're gonna mix this up and let this hang out in the fridge and marry those flavors while our um, cauliflower finishes cooking. Normally when I make guacamole, I just make a quick guacamole, real simple, avocados, salt, pepper, and lime juice. Um, so what I do is I, I got two avocados, I just got all the guts in there, and then literally, like, don't use a food processor, like, that's such a waste of dishes. I just fork it, I just give it a little forking. Oh, the avocados want a fork in. But what I do, actually, is I don't do it all the way like I don't mash it all the way I like some of those chunks of avocado in there to kind of pop through so instead of our lime juice because we're getting crazy with our goza oh it's goza ale with the cantaloupe and black lava sea salt so instead of lime juice I'm actually going to put some of this in here instead so infuse our flavors and some pepper some salt uh, we really want to make this Goza the star of the show, right? So we want like, we want our tacos to have a whole level of cantaloupe flavor throughout the whole thing. And then you just give a little taste, give a little taste. Oh girl, this is alcoholically delicious and I am so pumped for these motherfucking tacos. Girl, oh my God. If you could smell my house right now, so we've got our goza and cantaloupe infused salsa. We got our goza o's uh, infused cauliflower that's crispy. We got our goza infused avocado guacamole. And I actually, I wanna try a little bit individually, kind of like on its own, right? So first I'm gonna try cauliflower. Mm-hmm. You can taste that goza o's in there, that cantaloupe. Oh, shit. Oh. Guacamole, but look, if you do nothing else, make this guacamole with the Goza O's. I'm not even joking you. It's amazing. And salsa, a little bit of the salsa. Oh, fuck. Oh my God. You guys, literally best invention ever. I'm gonna try to take a bite of this like, oh, I'm, dro <laughs> I'm dropping it all over the floor. Mmm. Oh my god. I will talk with my mouth open. I'm so excited. Hold on. I'm gonna dance it out. I'm gonna take a sip. Mmm. Oh my god. You guys, these tacos are like they're they're sour, they're tart, they're salty, they're sweet, they're crunchy there oh my god so much is happening right now you guys make these i am not even joking you you will not be sorry again you can make it normally without the beer if you're not into that but this gives it such a level of flavor i can't even tell you right now oh my god okay whoo i need to calm down mm. these are all gonna be gone before greg gets home i ain't even playing so <laughs> you can find the full written recipe on my website midnightmunchiesandmore.com the link will be in the description make sure you check out my bake shop my online vegan bakery i will put that link in the description as well i make a lemon blueberry boozy muffin using one of duclaw's beer funk up in the funk follow duclaw they actually have a contest um with their beer the funk the blueberry citrus wheat they have a contest going on make sure you follow them they're super awesome i love their beer like and subscribe to my channel you guys follow me on social media if you make any of my recipes take pictures i want to see and look at my shirt i got because how many times do you get asked about protein right and my favorite thing to say is when people are like Oh, where do you get your protein? Bitch, peas.